Summary of Cat in the Rain by Ernest Hemingway An American wife and her American husband, George, are living in an Italian hotel. The room they live in has a view of a beach, a public park, and a war memorial. On a nice day, this would be a beautiful view. On this day, however, the weather is awful. Rain falls from the trees in the yard, on the beach, and on the war memorial. There are no people in the area. The American wife stands at her hotel window and looks out at this scene. She sees a single, wet cat hiding under a cafe table. She tells her husband, who is lying on the bed and reading a newspaper, that she will go downstairs to save the poor kitty from the rain. Her husband offers to take her instead, but she turns him down. Downstairs, she walks by the office of the hotel keeper, an old, tall, and formal Italian who gets up from his seat at the far end of the room and bows when he sees her. The American wife really likes the man who runs the hotel. She likes his respect and how willing he is to help her. She also likes his big hands and face. She talks to him in Italian about how bad the weather is, and then she keeps going. She opens the door to go outside, but when she does, the rain is getting worse. She needs to go to the right and is thinking about going under the eaves to stay out of the rain. At that moment, the hotel maid comes in. She opens an umbrella over the wife's head and tells her in Italian that she mustn't get wet. The American husband's wife thinks that the hotel owner sent her. The maid follows the American wife with the umbrella as she walks to the table, but the cat is no longer under the table. She is very sad about it. The hotel maid asks her if she has lost something, and the American wife tells her that she had a cat. Even though the maid laughs at this, the American wife tells her that she really wanted the cat. When they get back inside, the American wife walks by the office of the hotel owner, who bows again. When she goes up to her room on the second floor, her husband asks her if she found the cat. She tells him that it is gone. She says that she really wanted the cat, but she doesn't know why, and she thinks a lot about how bad the cat must have felt in the rain. She goes to a changing table and looks at her face and the back of her head and neck closely in a hand mirror. She asks George if letting her hair grow out wouldn't be a good plan. George looks at her short hair and says that he likes it that way. She says she's tired of looking like a boy, and George tells her she looks pretty good. The wife goes to the window and sees that it's starting to get dark. As she looks out the window, she says a long list of things she wants. She wants to be able to tie a knot at the back of her neck with her hair. She wants a cat that will sit on her lap and purr when she pets it. She wants her own cutlery and lights at the table where she eats. She wants spring to come. She wants a new wardrobe. George used to listen to what his wife said, but now he's bored and tells her to shut up and find something to read. The woman keeps staring out the window. It's dark, but still raining. She says over and over again that she wants a cat, especially since she can't have fun or long hair. George has stopped listening because he is so into what he is reading. The doorbell rings, and George brings the person inside. The hotel maid is standing in the hallway holding a big tortoiseshell cat. She tells them that the hotel's padrone sent her with the cat for the American wife. About the author. Ernest Hemingway is, without a question, a giant among American writers. His own life is almost as interesting as a story. He was born into a wealthy family in Illinois. When he was only 18, he signed up to be an ambulance driver in Italy at the end of the First World War, 1914 to 1918. He was also hurt during the war, but he still did brave things that earned him the Italian silver medal for bravery. After the war, he became a journalist and moved to Paris in 1921 to work as a foreign reporter. There, he met many famous writers of the time, such as Gertrude Stein, Ezra Pound, and James Joyce. In the 1920s, Hemingway's short stories started to get noticed, and in 1926, he published his first book, The Sun Also Rises. As his status as a writer grew steadily, he kept traveling. In the 1930s, he lived in Key West, Cuba, and Spain, where he covered the Spanish Civil War, 1936-1939, for a newspaper. 
In 1944, he went back to Europe to report on the Second World War, 1939-1944. In the meantime, he kept writing books about war, such as A Farewell to Arms, 1929, To Have and Have Not, 1937, and For Whom the Bell Tolls, 1940. He also writes about the outdoors, being a man, and feeling alone. He was given the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1954. Even though he was a very famous writer, his life would end in tragedy. At the start of the 1960s, he was very depressed and had a lot of health problems. This was partly because he had been drinking a lot all his life, and he had also been hurt in several crashes. He killed himself in Idaho on July 2, 1961, with his favorite handgun. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.